Hello, we are honored to have Dr. Thanam Porn as distinguished guest today. Dr. Thanam Porn, would you please kindly share with us about the current status of Thailand ICT in education? Thank you, Irene, and hello, everyone. It is a great pleasure for me to be here with you today. I would like to share with you about the current status of Thailand ICT in education. But first of all, let me start with the status of infrastructure related to ICT in Thai education. Overall, Thailand ICT infrastructure is growing steadily, but still is not so sufficient to serve the needs of the population of overall 70 million. According to the recent report by the Ministry of Education, the access to the internet in school in Thailand has reached 90%. The ratio of the number of computers per school is six computers per one school. And the ratio of the number of computers per number of students is one computer per 40 students. While two-thirds or around 60% of the teachers have already been trained on the use of ICT. How do Thais tackle the digital divide? Thai government uh, has set up a budget of over 43,900 million baht for education reform this year, and um, 5,000 million baht will be allocated for hardware, including PCs and laptops, the software, including system and ap application needed, and the digital content creation. The goals of that uh, huge amount of budget are to raise um, the number of computers per school from 1 to 40 to 1 to 20 and to, in order to, for the schools, all the schools, to acquire digital content for every subject area and every class level, and to offer professional development for teachers and educa educational personnel, and provide secure and stable school network infrastructure. And also to conquer the digital divide, the Thai government have come up with a, um, a, a couple of initiatives, some worth mentioning right here. Uh, are the Princess IT projects, including the IT project for the rural areas, um, such as in the Nan province, the Sakonakorn and Naratiwat provinces, and also the distant learning program, which is the um, uh, by, uh, uh, satellite TV program um, about the uh, educational program, and the web-based educational TV or ETV and tutor channel and last but not least, the teacher.tv project. Um, other, than the, uh, other than what I just mentioned to you, um, also the, the projects um, that implemented are not limited to only academic sector, but also including for the public um, and the community sector. Some of them worth mentioning are the internet tambon, focusing on providing internet access to the main tambons in all the provinces in Thailand, and the community computer center, focusing on providing computer labs with internet access to certain rural villages, and also um, the mobile training project um, for the disabilities and for the senior. Um, I. I would like to add more a little bit about the, how Thais are trying to um, tackle the digital divide. Um, also, um, some of the good news are um, the data, based on the data of my, my own recent research um, last year, it was also found that the, some most institutions, especially in the higher education, 93% already have started e-learning and assigned a department to oversee the e-learning services. And also more than 75% show readiness to accommodate e-learning in their educational institutes. And also the um, uh, just only concerns of the um, university in, high, in higher education are the, the concerns of accreditation and assuring quality issues. What is the current status in terms of quality for e-education in Thailand? Um, the quality of e-education, uh, I would say uh, Thai, education, Thai educators already acknowledge the needs and benefit of ICT use in schools. But um, we need to have the holistic or systemic approach in integrating ICT in education. And also definitely we know the teacher training alone are not enough for Thai people. Um, 
We also need some quality professional devo development in ICT integration from qualified personnel, and we need the best practices or lesson plan uh, in terms of lesson plans and digital learning resources. And we need uh, allo allocating more computers and teachers uh, and technical staff to facilitate teachers in schools. What are the future challenges? Mm, that's a tough question. The future, I think the challenges that lie ahead in terms of ICT in Thai education uh, falls on three areas. First, is, uh, it falls on the human resource and professional, develop, professional development for in-service teachers and for in-service instructors at all level. And the second is we, we, the challenges fall on the steady uh, network and information infrastructure should be ready for all the educators and for the students. And last but not least, we need the quantum, quantum jump policy in terms of hardware provision, curriculum development, and the digi digital content development. Thank you very much for your useful information. Thank you, Irene. Thank you.